you guys remember when you told me if I got perfect grades all the way through middle school, I could have anything I wanted? I think it was to ward off any further talk of a pony. Want to know what it is? I don't know. Do we? A family trip to Antarctica! Ponies are cute and maybe not as much trouble as we thought. You have made a number of movies sort of about like coming of age stories. And in some ways, like this movie is a little bit of like a coming of age story, although it's kind of like, it's a second phase of life, yeah. <laughs> sort of. Re-coming of age. Yeah. What attracted you to this movie kind of in general? Well, it's definitely one of those movies, I think 20 plus years ago, I wouldn't have known my way in, but you know, you get older and life happens and kids, parenting and all, all this complexity, it really spoke to me on a lot of levels, both the kind of obsessive parent relationship, but probably more so the artist who's not practicing their art, how toxic that can be. Ultimately, that's the biggest log jam in her life, she finds out. And so the movie's really about her slowly reconnecting, finding her second wave, reconnecting with who she's really meant to be. Your hillside just slid into my home. It's too late to say yes. People like you must create. If you don't, you become a menace to society. Have you had that happen to you? Like, have you taken a couple weeks off and then like <laughs> 10 Many, days in, you're like, Ugh. Many versions. Yeah, I was never <laughs> one to like, I don't want a vacation. I don't want to do anything. I just want to kind of keep doing what I do. You realize, oh, you know, you get older. You think it's some big calling, but you realize, oh, it's kind of my own therapy, my own coping mechanism with the world. So you see so much of what people do is, is that. So Bernadette has to find that. But yeah, no, all of us who worked on it, we agree this is it's kind of a nightmare scenario to, to be sort of silenced and not doing your art. You know, I think artists kind of live in some kind of weird fear relation with that, particularly in the arts. Like if you think of architecture, you can design all the buildings you want, but the ones that get built, you can write all the movies you want, but the ones that get made, you know, no one can tell a songwriter you can't write a song or you can't paint a painting or even write a book, but <clears throat> we're in one of those different art forms where you really need to, a lot of consensus and support to do. So it's even more precarious, probably. Part of this movie is sort of Bernadette's reaction to sort of a setback that she had yeah. in her life. Has there been a case in which you've had sort of like a setback, something you've really been excited about and like put everything into, and then sort of not had it go the way you wanted, and then how did you sort of take that? Um, I realized early on that that was gonna be a constant, that <laughs> my <laughs> expectations were never gonna be met. By, um, by forces around me, or very rarely met. So I, I had some crisis early. I just I had to pull it in and say, okay, why are you doing this and what do you want out of it? Kind of keep some perspective, but it's still kind of painful when something you do put everything into. But you gotta find the reward is in that and not some external thing. But the external affects your ability to do it also. So mm -hmm. so like how your film's received or how well it does at the box office or something. So yeah, you're always kind of put in this position. But mm -hmm. you know, it's, got, it's not bad enough to not make you want to do it, but it is this constant um, process. A huge project has come up. It will require me to go to Antarctica. It's twice the challenge anyone ever imagines with long stretches without sleep and exercise. Sounds like I've been in training for this for the last 20 years. 